At the onset of COVID-19, India decided to pump in capital expenditure to render private investment into a virtuous cycle. Today, with private capex yet to substantially pick up, the center is widely expected to continue its capex free in the upcoming budget. Banking on the multiplier effect of capex on private investment, the center is expected to raise capex allocation to 9 to 9.5 trillion rupees. The budget is also expected to continue its capital expenditure support scheme for states for which it had allocated 1 trillion rupees in the current fiscal. The expected pace of current capex execution is also expected to give the center further confidence to increase allocations without worrying about idle funds. As of November 2022, 60% of the budgeted capex has already been spent. The center is on track to meet its 7.5 trillion rupee target for this fiscal year. With the launch of national logistics policy last November, Prime Minister Narendra Modi made a reduction in the national cost of logistics, a key focus area. To unlock the growth potential in the economy, the cost of logistics should be 7 to 8 percent of the GDP. Currently, this cost is 13 to 16 percent, making exports less competitive and goods costlier. The 111 trillion rupee national infrastructure pipeline, supported by PM Gati Shakti. envisions an overhaul in the national transportation while capital spending to execute projects has increased the benefits are yet to be seen on the ground experts believe that a continued push in capex will be needed in the budget to bridge this gap in terms of capital expenditure i think we need to keep in mind that the bulk of the capital expenditure is on the national infrastructure pipeline and for the last 3 years ever since it was launched we have seen both central and state governments uh you know uh, achieve uh, take a, a primary role in financing that infrastructure so if you look at the relative shares around 45% at least 45% comes from the government budgets across the central government and the state governments maybe another uh, 20 to 25% typically comes from the banks and non banking finance companies many of which are sector specific like power finance corporation for example and if we look at the private sector i think their share uh, is typically around 20 to 25% and that's the part which needs to be focused on if the capital expenditure has to be sustainable so in terms of this year's budget we definitely expect the government to maintain its own spending in capital expenditure maybe increase it by around 10% or so so that's one key expectation in terms of focus areas of capital expenditure infrastructure would pretty much continue to be the mainstay and within infrastructure i think as has always been the trend in the past uh, railways and roads key infrastructure ministries like railways road transport and highways and shipping are likely to see a sizable surge in budgetary allocations and gather a larger share of the center's total capex While the highway budget has been touted to be upwards of 2.1 trillion rupees much of it is expected to fund the cost overruns in the 10 trillion rupee bharat mala project which is likely to be delayed by at least 5 years the railways will likely see a 1.9 trillion rupee budget with substantial allocations towards 400 to 500 vande bharat trains and upgradation of rail infrastructure railways may also roll out a pipeline of projects worth 2.7 trillion rupees India Inc will also look forward to the extension of the PLI scheme to infrastructure sectors such as telecom and shipping. The center is currently working on a PLI for container manufacturing which it may announce in the budget. A boost in capital expenditure in the budget seems imminent, but it remains to be seen how the center takes on sectoral concerns and boost private capex as public infra spending may not be as fruitful beyond a point. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.